Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss the answer sheet of our AIM for Agriculture program. We all know that we are having AIM for Agriculture program where we are having daily answer writing practice and weekly full tests. So around 20 students have joined the program and all are writing very good answers but as we can discuss only one copy we generally choose the copy which is one of the best copies that is very well written and secondly the copy is clear so that it is visible in the video and the questions and other things are well written so that you can able to read the answers properly so let's see today's copy so this is the copy of day 15 so let's see how the student has approached the answer and through reading these answers through uh, analyzing these answers you can also develop your own structure for the answers you can also see how examples are used how facts are used how definitions are written how points are written so through this you can also improve your answers and these things can be helpful to you so let's start the answer copy of day 15 so the first question asked was write a note on allelopathic effect so let's see how the student have approached approached it and if you want you can pause the video and read the answers in detail so what allelopathic effect is it is a biological phenomenon where one organism releases chemical substances which are also known as allelochemicals into the environment that affect the growth survival development and reproduction of other organisms that is suppose there are two trees so in this allelopathic effect this one tree will release the allelochemicals and this can have effect on the other tree so this is what allelopathic effect is and this can lead to it sometimes these are positives also negative also man that is this can enhance the growth of other tree also and reduce the growth of other tree also so for example i am just uh, letting you know so that you can uh, get the concepts rightly so you can pause and read the definitions if you want so the student has also mentioned the type, so very well written, positive allelopathy and, sorry, positive allelopathy and negative allelopathy. So, here it enhances the growth and it inhibits the growth. Examples have been mentioned, so very well written. So, I hope you are able to understand the answer. Now, moving to the next page. Then, mechanisms of, of allelopathy has been also mentioned, chemical release, inhibition, stimulation, and then biological implications have been also mentioned such as plant competition, ecosystem dynamics, applications have been mentioned. For example, in marigold, it helps in suppression of pests and nematodes. In mustard, it helps in phytoremediation. So, these are some of the examples mentioned and a very nice, nicely written answer. So, you can pause the video and read the examples in detail and also develop your way, your own way of writing the answers and these answers will be helpful in that. And again, appropriately concluded. Now let's move to the second question. The second question was, what are soil animals and discuss their benefits? Soil animals that are the animals, living organisms present in the soil. Okay. These are the diverse group of living organisms that are present in soil and perform important functions of the ecosystem. Now let's see what are the types of soil animals. So types of soil fauna, first of all we have macro fauna that are macro organisms such as nematodes, protozoa, we have meso fauna such as mites, spring tails. And lastly, we have macrophone, that is earthworms, insect, etc. So, these are the some of the examples are nicely written. So, whenever you add examples to your answers, you add some facts to your answers, so it enhances your answers. So, please try to add examples, try to add the facts. And whenever you are adding facts, try to write the source of the facts. Suppose some fact is taken from ICR, some fact is taken for food and agriculture organization. So, to try to add the source, it will enhance your answers. What are the benefits? The benefits have been also mentioned decomposition, they help in soil aeration, nutrient recycling, they help in soil structure, they help in pest control, they help in seed germination, bioturbation, carbon sequestration. So we all know that how soil animals are helpful and very well written and then appropriately concluded. So this was the second question. The third question was asking us, uh, the third question was, what do you understand by pure line selection? Pure line selection, discuss the characteristics of pure line and also discuss its practical applications. So what pure line selection is, it is the development of new variety through identification of and isolation of single best plant progeny. This is the keyword here. 
single based plant progeny so when we develop a variety through the a single based plant progeny that is known as pure line so i hope you understand this this single based plant progeny is only pure line examples have been also mentioned that is such as kalmik now what are the characteristics of pure line the first part of the question is asking about characteristics and the second part is asking about applications practical applications so let's see how the student has approached answer characteristics we all know that pure line is genetically informed it is homozygous and homogeneous it is stable its reproductive ability can be in zero it is consistent in reproductive ability it has predictable performance disease resistance adaptability high in genetic base for hybrid development all the important characteristics have been mentioned you can pause the video and read them in detail now the second part of the question was about applications so the question was asking about practical applications so if you have added a variety here so that would have been answer answer and you can see how the student had Added varieties such as Pusa Bold Wheat, Pusa 256, Ground Nut, TMP2, Alfonso. So these are the varieties through developed through pure line. So whenever practical applications have been asked, try to add some varieties that will enhance your answers. So practical applications they are used in crop improvement. They are used for in pulses, Ground Nut, Mango, vegetables. Okay. So well written answers. So I have been given even some varieties such as Basmati Rice, JS. Three, three, five. So varieties have been well mentioned and then appropriately concluded. Another variety such as sugar cane, C O eight eight six zero three two. In the spices they are used. In medicinal plants they are used. So very well written answer. And I was very impressed with the, impressed with this answer because remembering that amount of varieties, remembering that amount of facts is never easy. But if you are able to, you can. So this was the answer of day fifteen. So I hope you like the answer. and you develop you have read the answer and you are able to develop a way through which you can approach your answers and please do try writing answers because the more you write the more you improve and the more the quality of your answers will improve so please do write your answers that will be helpful to you so if you like it please do like the video please do share the video and please do subscribe the video it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on regular basis it is never easy to come and deliver content regularly but if you like if you share and if you subscribe it highly motivates us to do these things for you and whichever program we launch such as this n for agriculture these are very low cost program very economical program when you compare to some coaching institutes it these are 10 to 20 times cheaper and well delivered so please do like please do share and please do subscribe thank you